Hello together. In this code, uh, in this video, I will show you how to uh, add permissions to an existing app and how to run this uh, app or uh, permissions. Uh, in the background, you will see um, there's my this is my running application or my application in the Android um, uh, Android Studio. And there is some code written there. When when you push a button, then um, why is it? <coughs> yeah, there's. Wait. There's a entry field for some uh, for some contact data, and when you add the contact, then the code will run on a method which is called fx uh, add raw contact. And in here, I have the problem that as soon as I run the content provider uh, result as a get content resolver, uh, then I will get an error. Now we run this stuff now. And in the debugger, now the app is starting, the Gradle is starting there. Mm. Is this now? Yeah, it is. Okay. I was not sure if it's already the right uh, application. <coughs> now, okay. Now, when I start this, the breakpoint, the code will stop here in the breakpoint, uh, breakpoint, and it tries to uh, get contents resolver, and it needs uh, the uh, contact contacts con contacts contract authority ops, and there were some uh, operations uh, before, and now when the code goes in there, let's have a look here on our stuff now we push the f8 button <coughs> and i made here a try and catch block and now the uh, as soon as i make a code step in then the code will say okay uh, i have an exception here and there as you see see here already java language security exception permission denial operate uh, opening provider uh, something else okay and now I run the uh, lock uh, method lock e and there's a here's my text of that and some get stack trace string so when I run this one then you saw that there was some code coming here this one it's <coughs> it said uh, that's the lock here get content resolver that's what I've written there here uh, Java lang security exception permission denial okay the software the the uh, code can't run because uh, opening provider com Android provider contacts blah 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 um, here's the solution requires Android permission read contacts or Android permissions write contacts okay what are what we have to do there is I wrote that uh, code and then at the later point I found that I had to add the permission and the permission has to be given in the Android manifest XML file and all you have to do there is you have to write uses dash permission Android name uh, Android permission read contacts write contacts in uh, straight in the Android manifest okay now I have already done that and when I'm now in the debugger again we will still have the app there and I already gave the permission to there but it's not accepted uh, as soon as I run this stuff again so what we do now here in the debugger we stop that stuff and now we go to our settings and here we will find the apps and in the apps we have here now this is my add new contract contact raw that's the same one here what you see there and we have here a permission 
permission uh, no permissions granted and when you click on that you will see there are the contacts uh, contact permissions which I have to grant grant uh, definitely here now when I allow it now the code should run now so we go there back there again and now we start this one again when I type in add contact now it's not in the debug it's not attached to the debugger wait click on there click on there start it in, and with the debugger it goes there waiting for the debugger now when I add contact then the breakpoint goes there now I type uh, we go to the Android moni monitor we type in F8 then we come to the uh, lock D um, yeah we, we before this we, we came to the exception uh, line and now we come to the finally it's, it's uh, that's uh, some code which I've written there so when we go there say like something like this then the system runs through and the system is okay so this was how to add or how to grant permissions once you have already uh, at a later point of, a, of your debugging version so I hope I could help you in this point let's see what system said now yeah it is there uh, final check if everything was okay yes that's it that's my uh, application it wrote a uh, first name last name that's what's here ABC first name first name last name so code was running and I'm happy with that with this uh, and I hope I could help you in resolving this problem with uh, permissions uh, at a later point of debugging as soon as the uh, the application was already installed on your debugging device or emu Android emulator and if you like this then make a subscription or a like there